coworker though, because she doesn't cause anywhere near the grief this other woman does. Well, the, okay, this person is named Nancy. She happens to be my significant other's older sister. And unfortunately, that means that family gatherings and so forth, you're thrown into contact with her. She's a very aggressive woman. She's very insecure. She has to parade every item of value in front of your nose so that you're sure to see a new ring, a full-length fur coat, uh, the necklace that someone brought back from Egypt. I mean, she says, have you seen my... She is very inflammatory in her speech, in her opinions, and she expects you to buy into them and affirm that, oh yes, you're right, you're right. And I cannot stand, I just cannot stand being around this woman. To one point, one day, I finally just got up from the table and said, I don't care to discuss this. And this is not the way to handle it, not when you're in a family <laughs> gathering and you just get up and, you know, leave. And so I really don't know what to do with her. I, I, have, I have taken a shot of whiskey before I go over there. I have taken tranquilizers before I go over there. I have meditated. And other times I've done nothing at all, and they all have about the same effect. I still get angry. So <laughs> that's a great one. So yeah, I, I, that's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I have come to realize that it's not Nancy. I know it's not Nancy, which really frustrates me. It's and I do understand yeah. that it's not Nancy. Yeah. But I haven't created, I haven't figured out how to deal with this challenge Great. yet. Mm -hmm. So you the first thing we want for number one is when, <laughs> when I think about <laughs> it's undeni undesirable scenarios. So if you can just think of one scene or scenario you've mentioned. How about being with her? Scenario of going over uh, to a family gathering. Nancy at a family gathering. And being yeah. with Nancy. Yeah. So that would yes. be like, when I think about A, and you would just fill that in as, as your A. All right. Got it. Now the second part, part of that, it says, I feel B, and you kind of had adjectives describing her as aggressive and opinionated and so on and so forth, but just some of your feelings when you... When you're there and you're at the, the family gathering, you want to just start with how you're feeling. And it can be a number of them, you know, it doesn't, just a specific upsetting emotions. Pick out the top three or four, usually, if that's helpful. The top three or four, are they listed? Oh, you mean yours. Three or yeah, four? You might have ten different three. feelings, but pick out Listen the up. dominant so three or four. So I feel anger, I feel uneasiness, I feel cornered, emotionally cornered, uh, and total intolerance. Can you take a okay, so just fill it in. I feel anger. I feel what you say, trapped Uneasiness. or something about something that uneasiness. Uneasiness. Yeah, but I don't want to waste too long. Emotionally So you feel anger. You feel oh, yeah. uneasiness. Emotionally cornered. Yeah. Emotionally cornered. So then that, there's more. Does that kind of capsulize the both of it? I think so. <laughs> okay. Because I think that C name Nancy. is to blame. Okay. And or I'm afraid C negative consequence, not consequences, will occur in the future. Yeah, and I don't. I, um, I really don't know how to deal with that. The negative consequences, and that's one of the biggest ones, is have to agree with her when I don't agree rather than say, I think you're full of shit. You know, I just, I can't do that, so I feel like I have to agree and go along with it. I don't know how else to put that. Lynette, what are you afraid would occur in the future if you agreed or disagreed, whichever? What are you afraid of? I guess I'm compromising my values. My, my, uh, I'm compromising myself by, I'm a very upfront, truthful kind of person, but I don't like confrontation. And to me, there's no point of confrontation in these gatherings. Let the woman just blow off her steam. You find me in a different room usually than what you find her if I can arrange it nicely because I don't like to have to deal with her. I don't like being compromised. I don't like having to say, I don't agree with you because I don't feel it's important to do that. It doesn't make any difference whether I agree with her or not. It isn't going to change anything. Do you? 
Are you feeling? Are you feeling like what's going to happen in the future is just more of the same? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that? Oh, that's that what I hear you saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, is what what yeah, you think is that more of the change. same is she's going to change. Will occur in the future. Mm -hmm. Because you have to continue to see her because mm -hmm. she's a part of the family. That's what I was getting at. Yeah. Are you afraid that it would compromise your relationship? I mean, does that count here? Sure. To yeah. be afraid of the future that it would compromise your relationship with your significant other? Well, it is a minor consideration. He doesn't care for her too much either, but I can't rest on that too easily. I mean, he tries to avoid her, and he doesn't like her show off mm -hmm. nature and she it's one upmanship. If someone's got something she's gotta have another one that's better, bigger, nicer, more expensive. So he doesn't have a lot of tolerance with that either. He understands where I'm coming from, but that doesn't justify my feelings. And I realize that. Mm -hmm. So any future consequences is that I just I'm very uneasy about it. I just I just I don't have a good time. I don't know the future. Think about family gatherings where she is. I feel anger, intolerance, etc. Because I think she is to blame and or I'm afraid the same thing's gonna happen over and over again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So when we move now to number two, one of the things we've talked about in the first several days of this seminar is that that perception, what we perceive in the world, comes from our beliefs in our minds. So if we go back to our diagram that we talked about the levels of the mind, the perception was out here, the outer ring, and the belief is in here, the inner ring. And the belief determines the perception. Sometimes it doesn't seem that way. It seems as if our emotions and our beliefs and thoughts are determined by what's happening out here. So th this is where number two is coming in. It's saying A, you know, the undesirable scenario, B, the feelings, C, the thoughts, in this case the thought of who's to blame, prove that I am right about D, how I think things are. I'm lost. Do you get the... Because I believe that the statement in number two, first sentence, is not correct. Is that correct? Well, yeah, and that's something we need to look at. It's, it's part of the, the whole ego system is that everything is backwards and upside down. So I mean, these do not prove that I'm right. Am I? D is how I think you things get. are. You know, you're saying the way things are is I get upset whenever I'm with her. And the reason is, this is why I am upset. ABC. Yeah. One of the things I heard Lynette saying earlier, not just about this situation with Nancy, but you were saying it more in a general context, was I'm always being cornered, mm -hmm. that feeling. And that I would be something, idea. you know, mm -hmm. that you could put in there indeed, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's more of a pervasive belief that, right. that it seems like not only with Nancy, but in other situations like at work or other things where it seems mm -hmm. like you're feeling cornered, mm -hmm. like you were saying, mm -hmm. then that's something you could fill in. That mm -hmm. might be after the I am... I always seem to be getting cornered. I'm always seem to fit? cornered. Mm -hmm. Could. Mm -hmm. Could. Also, it's a lack of peace. And also, the, 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 the big, big, big thing that I kind of forgot to mention is the woman is negative. There is no positive thought in her body except that she is right. <laughs> but, you know, she's a very negative woman, and I don't like having to be with people who are constantly negative and complaining about something. So, yeah, I feel cornered and very uneasy and not at peace. So the lack is peace? Perhaps. <laughs> I think ever just about everything pleasant is lacking. But I, this being cornered or, yeah, that any of those would work. Yeah. That sounds but if you use some me. of those things that lead in, um, I'm, I'm just sort of trying to put myself in your shoes. I need a peaceful issues. environment. Yeah, I, I am upset. I need around people that are more positive. Mm -hmm. um, I can imagine since she's so aggressive and, and, and overbearing, you know, you may feel a, a sense of um, being overwhelmed. I don't know. So 
Would that would be or with control, maybe? <laughs> control, yeah, that's what well, I was thinking. Well, it could be control, say. because I'm not exactly <clears throat> a wallflower, and control is an issue with me. So it could possibly be vying for control. That would be one of the and I am, I am vying for control. Or I'm out of control. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, and if when I that's, out of control, that's, I think that's, that's why it's uncomfortable, that's right? What's mm -hmm. That's what's lacking is I'm out of control. I need to be in control is, is the feeling, right? So where does that fit in? D. I need to be in control. So this proves that I'm right about that needing, I need to be, needing, in control. needing to be in control. But that wouldn't have come without on your own if you were filling this out, would it? That's no. why we do it together. Until you well, and it's not going to be here. But but the yeah. thing I was going to say, the way I've used this, because I I, 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 I used this a long time ago, over and over, and I I was usually doing it by myself. Mm -hmm. But I would fill it out initially, whatever popped into my mind, and if I got to the end and I didn't <coughs> feel a sense of really resolution, I would go back. And I would keep working through kind of like we are, questioning myself. Let's see, what else is it that I feel like I'm lacking? And just kind of mm -hmm. talk it through in my mind. And then other things would come to me as I would go through it. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the value of, of saving them, too, and going back mm -hmm. and working with it. Because sometimes I would have a list. You know, I would keep thinking of more things that would come to mind after I would fill this in that would maybe fit fit into the, you know, like we're saying, you know, initially it could be lack of control, but we've named a bunch of other things, and those things might all come to you as you go through it on your own. So it's not like, it, it, it does come to you when you get used to doing it. Yeah, okay. That's and, like and, and, you know, and it's, it's not kind of like there's only one right answer no. kind of thing, you know, no. it's like whatever is helpful. So, you know, kind of what we came to about feeling out of control, you can see how it's a little more basic than than saying I feel backed into a corner, which is kind of one way of expressing that or one mm -hmm. example of being out of control. Mm -hmm. But if we had if we work with that one, it would still work. You know, yeah, if yeah. we worked with yeah, feeling backed into a corner, you'd still get it's still, to the same yeah, point. still get to the same point. Could she have just put A, B, and C prove that I'm right about the situ that I'm right about how the situation is with Nancy and me? Well, it just doesn't go, you just don't go any, I don't see that as taking it any deeper than where. Okay. Uh, almost like you've got to write something down, you don't know how to write it, so get some thoughts out and yeah. you can modify them later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can you keep going, going, going deeper with it. Yes, I don't think with okay. it. And the ultimate extent of my belief in lack, again, that's that ego we were all talking about just a minute ago. The, the ego is the belief in lack. If you really had to give a name to the belief in lack, this is a world of scarcity. Everybody who seems to be here seems to be lacking something. You know, food, mm -hmm. clothing, shelter, love, you know, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. There's the lower needs, then you go up above, and then there's self-esteem needs, and security and you work your way up to self-actualizing needs, but the real basic belief in lack is the self-concept or the ego, and, and yet initially when you're working with it, that may be too vague, you know, so you may say, no, I feel like I'm, like you've been saying, like I'm cornered or I'm out of control, and that would be a good way of, just another form of the ego, just giving it something, giving it a name. You know, again, it just struck me that my belief in lack is similar to saying my belief in separation, again, without mm -hmm. I'm losing something. I haven't got all of me here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I haven't got all I need yeah. for a happy life. Yeah. yeah. And, again, A, B, and C prove that I'm right about that. In other words, mm -hmm. the way what I'm seeing, the way I'm perceiving the scenario, what I'm feeling about the scenario, and whether I'm blaming particular person in the world or I'm afraid of the future consequences, that's all this unpleasant perception. And that unpleasant perception is just proving that I'm right about something that I believe I'm lacking deep within my mind. Mm -hmm. And that's the, that's the metaphysics of the Course. The world doesn't cause us to be upset. The world just brings a picture or a witness to what we believe about ourselves in our own minds which is a turnaround from mm -hmm. the way the world sees it. Mm -hmm. That if, if 
Nancy would just be gone from the picture, <laughs> mm -hmm. it would seem like the world would be a better place, or it may seem as Your if life my life would be better. If Nancy